Been waiting for you to get frozen enough, old girl, and while you aren't the best, you're, you're okay-ish. Even though it's gonna be warm today, we're gonna give it a few hours and uh, see if we can't catch one of my favorite fish to catch through the ice. And no, it's not catfish. We've been doing that enough lately. Catfish are definitely up there, but if anything beats them, it's these. Let's get them, hopefully maybe the pal. What is going on, you dirty old stash flaps? I don't know if we've done stash flaps. I don't know if anyone suggested stash flaps. I'm not with the, sure what the hell a stash flap is, but it sounds kind of funny and that's what we're gonna go with today. And uh, yeah, I'm out on a little old pond that has uh, some giant fish and uh, they're, they're bass fish, which I don't normally target a lot on my channel, but they're the uh, smallest of the mouth bass. And uh, yeah, one of my favorites to target through the ice. Um, yeah, the ice isn't super great and warm weather is coming. I feel safe right now, but as the day goes on, I might have to leave. But uh, yeah, it's like two to three inches, probably closer to three, uh, but it's supposed to be like 47 today. And uh, I didn't really get out here till 11.30. But uh, yeah, seems safe enough now. I'm gonna tie some baits on, drop panty optics down, take a look around. We'll see if we can't uh, crack a few small jaws. My personal best came from here. It's five, five, eight, five, four, something like that. Doesn't really matter. It was giant, especially coming through the ice hole. And uh, yeah, let's give it a few hours and see what we can get. So, ba bow kind of stuff. I had my favorite little uh, tungsten jig with a plastic. That was my favorite lure for these fish, but I don't have any of them anymore. I need to maybe order some online or some shit, but I'm not very good at planning ahead. And this is kind of a last minute random trip, but I'm gonna go with a bigger bigger bait for now. We're gonna do the uh, hyperglide. I'm gonna start with a more natural color, maybe switch to the uh, more obnoxious fire tiger color eventually. Um, but yeah, it's a big bait. Gets down there faster if you use a little clippy and it'll be easier for uh, running and gunning. You can even call it running and gunning when you're ice fishing. Walking and drilling is probably more like it for people that live in Eastern Nebraska and can't use ATVs or trucks or anything and have to walk everywhere. We'll go with that. Not as many as there used to be. They get fished for pretty hard now, which is a very small part of it. The other small part of it, or the large part of it is we had the floods, so. I'm sure some of the uh, smallmouth got pushed out into the river and stuff like that, which is very, very sad, but what the hell can you do? It's part of life, it's part of things, and uh, yeah, nothing we can do about it, so why worry about it? But there is still some left, and uh, hopefully we can find them. Wakey, wakey, Panty. Time to do some fishing. You ready to do some fishing, Panty? You excited? Yeah, I'll get you in that hole eventually here. You just, you just cool your jets there, little Tammy. You just cool your jets. Well. I'm not really seeing what I'm after, but I do see a boulder, which is definitely part of what I'm after. There's just no fish by it, but I know they generally speaking uh, patrol this area, so we're just gonna plop our bait down and give it about, I don't know, 15 minutes, see if one swims by. Maybe not the best game plan, but it certainly is some sort of plan. Let's see if we can get a couple to come to us. I'm not sure how much we're really gonna, sorry, my armor's in the way, be able to find them on panoptics. We should be able to. Not very many fish have been able to hide from panoptics. That's for sure. But we found a boulder, so we'll sit by it and see what happens. Put one down there. Moved over like four feet. Got right on top of the boulder. And it definitely looks like what we're after. That doesn't mean it's gonna eat, but definitely looks like what we're after. Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. He just nipped it. Camera dying cost me a fish, but he's still down there. Got him. Got him. There's like three of them down there. Definitely big. Definitely big. I had a really good bite. And then my uh, camera died. I thought I wasn't gonna get another chance, but I did. <gasps> He's in the damn transducer over there. He's giant. Giant. Giant one. Looks like he's hooked pretty good, luckily. Giant. <clears throat> it's a four pounder, probably. Come on, bud. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'll get that hook out of you. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Do you guys see that? Look how he ate it. Look how he ate it. We'll measure him. I don't have a scale. Be right back. All right. Got a measuring board, but look, look how he ate it. Just gone. Hyperglide from Acme. Missed like multiple before. Not the same fish. They were definitely other fish. 
I've never had one eat the Hyperglide like this. All right, we'll give it a quick measure. 20 and a half inches. Giant, absolute giant. Let's get him back. All right, bud, thanks for playing. Thank you for playing. He splashed my camera? What a jerk. <laughs> trying to be quiet because there's people around, but I'm pretty, pretty stoked. 20 and a half inches is a damn monster. He's kind of skinnier and shittier looking. None of them were really like that before the flood and before the fishing pressure, but it's good to see they're still around. And there was multiple. I literally moved over like I was in that hole. I could see him on the boulder, moved right on top of the boulder. Got one quickly. Let's do it again. There is bigger in here. Definitely fatter in here. 20 and a half is pretty long. I don't know if we're going to beat that today, but pow. I'd yell it, but I don't want to. All right, well, we ain't moving anytime soon. There's a bunch of stuff swimming through off to the side over there. Almost looks like bait fish though, but here it is, Acme Hyperglide. The only thing I hate about it is how slow it falls to the bottom. There's this little back clippy thing that helps it fall faster, but I'm always nervous and worried about if it actually unclips when it gets down there. I always hope it does, but. So basically you just drop it down after it's clipped in that thing and give it a big rip and it should uh, unhook from that back spot and now it's down where you want it to be. We'll just keep rolling here and see if we can get another pod to come through. Even though they're relating to the boulders, they kind of jump from boulder to boulder. So there could be nothing now and then a bunch will show up. Tons of shad swimming by. Maybe they'll be chasing the shad. Just dirt loads of shad just swam by. <laughs> Hopefully I can zoom in on that and you guys can see it. Literally, they just, they keep coming. They keep coming. One below them. No, he didn't. We got it. Doesn't feel as big, but it's hard to tell. I was twiddling around on my phone, and I just looked down, and there's two, two pretty big marks down there. Ah, yeah, he's still not a terrible one. I've seen worse. He didn't eat it nearly as good, so he might come off, but another one waiting below him. Watch that one. Got him that time. Got him that time. We'll give him a measure just for shits and gigs. 17 and three quarters, almost 18. No, 17 and three quarters. All right, not sure if I'm even in the camera. I really feel like I'm not, but smallie number two, 17 and three quarters. Eh, probably a couple pound fish, but they're rolling through in groups. We're on the right boulder for now. And uh, yeah, pan optics definitely helped me find it faster. But when you're fishing for smallmouth, it's more of a waiting game. So pan optics isn't necessarily required, but it didn't hurt to get set up on the right spot. I didn't see any fish. They're, they're pretty good at hiding, even from pan optics, but right spot, right time, smallie number two, pa pal. All right, bud. Thanks for playing. Fast release. If you're gonna come out here and do this, take care of these fish. They are catch and release, I believe. And if they're not, they should be. Um, but yeah, we're doing it. Literally, been here for like 10 minutes. They're on fire. We're gonna catch more, I think, or uh, maybe we won't. They're usually they're usually pretty hard to catch, but for some reason right now, I'm not sure if it's the uh, water clarity being worse or whatever, but they're extra dumb. We're not getting rejected. If they see the bait, they eat it, which is a good feeling. Wasn't really sure about it because it's bluebird skies and uh, nothing too exciting as far as weather, but. They don't seem to give a shit. They're eating. Let's get some more. Ba -pow. Well, it looks like there's one sitting by the boulder, so let's get our asses back down there, boys and girls. Oh, when a plan comes together. Actually, two of them down there. Hopefully, they're there by the time I get there. Bait's falling way to the damn side, though. Flick it out of the little holder guy. Some hard jerks. Now we're over, over the boulder, but I don't really see him anymore. Oh, yeah, there's one there. He's pissed, too. Not pissed enough though. I ate my words on that one, got too cocky. Said they were eating it if they saw it, and that one didn't eat it. He was definitely interested, but didn't eat it. Oh, he's back. He ate it that time. Definitely of the bigger variety. Game off. That's all right. Surprised we went two for two, honestly. They're they're not as hard to keep pinned as catfish, but they're still pretty hard to keep pinned. So that'll happen. That will happen to the best of us, but. We ate, but took him like three or four turnarounds on at that time to actually get it. He needed some convincing, but he still ate it. So usually that's the biggest battle. Actually getting him in is probably the biggest battle. First time we ever came here, we missed like 
20 before we actually caught one. So I guess the biggest battle is actually getting the damn things in, but a lot of times getting them to bite is pretty hard too. And finding them can be pretty hard as well. We're doing pretty damn good. 10 out of 10 so far. Yeah, it just dropped to a 9 out of 10 for missing that one, but still pretty good. Pretty good. Why didn't I bring a chair? Ah. I need to get like one of those little fold up stools or something. Wasn't someone talking about one of those on a video sometime? Maybe it was Clayton. I don't know. Just need like a little mini, mini chair that just folds up so I can plop my ass on it. <sighs> Save that for another day. Comment down below if you got any suggestions of good, compactable ice fishing chairs. Because I need one. That was very ugly, but we got him. Just come out of nowhere. It's a little flicker. I'd record on pan optics, but there's not really much to see. It's just like the boulder gets bigger. Oh, I hate it when they switch directions like that. Yep, that's a real one. Real one. Tanker, a lot healthier. I guess maybe not a lot healthier, but dip the board, number three, foosball. Eh, almost 19. Pinch the tail, it's 19. Definitely, definitely a little fatter though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, smallie, number three, almost 19 inches. Definitely fatter. Probably upper three still, maybe pushing four. Don't have a scale though, so it doesn't really matter, but not bad. Not bad. Good way to spend the afternoon before I have to pick the kid up from kindergarten. And uh, I was more or less just searching for ice today and uh, wasn't really planning on fishing. Now we got small jaw numero tres. Let's get it back. Later, friend. Later, friend. I guess the water's not really that dirty, but in the past, it's been definitely been cleaner. Another one down there. Probably should have locked up my lure so it'll, uh, fall faster but I kind of space that sometimes he's definitely down there we're almost to him we are five feet above him now we're right in his range hopefully you can find it we might have been a little slow to the punch on that one but maybe he's still in the area maybe I've had some individual fish coming in and uh, they've been pretty much rejecting it it's when we get when we get two down there that things happen and it's only been about 30 minutes since I was catching them, but it just feels like something has changed in their mood. They're definitely not quite as uh, fired up. The first few I dropped on just, I couldn't do anything wrong, but the past few that have came in just either don't bite it or just kind of nip at it lightly. And that's not what we want. We need some charged up fish. And the problem is, is we're uh, kind of running out of time, but uh, we still got, my drag was too loose. We got a fish. We still, I was gonna say we still got like 30 minutes, but. Yeah, that's one. Oh, he almost hooked me. He ain't big. And I don't think the one I missed before was very big, but it is one. My favorite, favorite fish through the ice. Dirty old small jaw. He's kind of a stubby little bud, ain't he? He's looking all mangy, mangy mangy measure him for fun i suppose i'll get off my ass too because i know the views are terrible when i'm sitting on my ass but yeah 30 minutes 45 minutes left it's gonna go searching but i mean they keep coming through here so i mean what's the old saying don't leave fish to find fish or something like that another one down there 16 inches smallest one of the day but still a nice one that was actually kind of funny when i dropped that fish in there's another fish down there and he instantly swam away even in 17 foot of water. Might not be related, but it looked related to me. I dunked that smallie's head in, he kicked off, and the one that was down there just left the building. But yeah, we'll give it, give it the 30 minutes we can, then we gotta go. Fishing's great, it's my number one thing I like to do, but family first. But for the next 30 minutes, smallmouth first. All right, let's see if I can at least get pan optics recording for a little bit so I can kind of show you what 
what I'm looking at. I've done a horrible job at this this year, mainly because half the time it doesn't want to work, but I ordered some things that might fix the problem, but recording now. So that little thing to the left of my lure is just a singular cinder block. And it was the uh, cinder block that dreams are made of for about 30 minutes. And then got a couple random ones swimming through. There's a bigger mark, a little too far away, but it's the kind of mark we're looking for, for sure. Usually though, it seems like when I see them that far away, they don't necessarily come over to me. Let's do a little spin, see if we can see that fish again. There he is, he went out to the other boulder. Do we go to that other boulder? Kind of running out of time, but those are the kind of marks we're looking for. Um, but yeah, one little piece of structure, nothing major. Stop recording, because I forgot what the hell I was even gonna say, but one little piece of structure, had all those fish. Pretty uh, pretty epic uh, hour and a half, two hours before having to pick up the uh, daughter from school and I couldn't be more stoked. If you're local and you're gonna come out here, first and foremost, be careful, because the ice is not super great. I probably should have had a friend with me, but uh, um, it seemed to have held up. We're gonna have 50 degree weather though the next couple days and it's uh, not gonna hold up through that because then it's followed by wind and it just sounds absolutely terrible. I'm gonna do my best to keep the content going as well as I can, but uh, yeah. The other thing is uh, if you come out here, please be sure to take care of these fish. They're, uh, they're definitely my favorite. And they're a lot of people's favorites and everyone just needs to be quick with getting them up, getting them in, getting them released and there's a fish down there. And yeah, we don't have a lot of fish like this in this area so be sure to take care of them if you're going to come out it is public water so you are allowed to come out but if you're going to be sure to be prepared to take pictures or whatever you're going to do quickly should have left my bait down family first though remember family first looks like a good one too that's how it always happens too i stop recording on pamnopics and that's when shit moves in it's like they know it is like they know, but anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Kind of an abrupt ending, but I gotta hurry. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching more smallmouth videos to come as long as Mother Nature uh, cooperates and quits being a big old bitch. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Take care. Hope all is well and things and stuff. Bye-bye.